as an institution has to do is to embrace technology in every aspect. And you cannot separate technology from crypto. Why do you want to make money? Why wouldn't I want to make money? Because money is good. See, I'm growing. It's because of money. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, they always come every other Saturday. But events like this, they are once, once in a while. So you can see come on there today and go next week. What's that, um, what's that principle, that financial principle that's been keeping you thus far? Mm, yeah, just two. Number one is discipline. And then number two is commitment. Then you can add a little bit of consistency. When the bit alert comes, there is no uh, rejoicing. But well, if you see that credit alert, you get as the. Are we? You get as the. You feel like let the credit thing keep happening. Exactly. Any more spend less. Very important. The youth. All of us want to be rich and want to live the best of life right now. We want to drive flashy cars, we want to build beautiful houses, you know, you want to wear the best of designers and all. No, easy, calm down. Hmm? Lifestyle inflation. What do you understand by lifestyle inflation? If it costs, if it costs you this is your sneakers, it's original. I can see. Like 370,000 for these sneakers now, cost price. If it costs you 370,000 naira to buy these sneakers now, hmm? by next year, you can buy it 370. It will be like maybe 500,000. Inflation will happen. Are you getting it? But your lifestyle, you not now say because inflation has happened, you now go and buy like this, my own now, that is just a few thousand naira. No, you have to still stay on the lifestyle you're living. You know, chain Africa, you have to stay on the lifestyle. So lifestyle inflation is real, it happens. Of course, you need to live life and buy things for pleasure after working so hard, you know. But after you have had so much fun and a fruitful spending spree, ask yourself one question, how do I feel? Do you feel good? Or you feel like, ah, come on now, wow, I wasted money. There is no succession. It's like, uh what I will call a, a, a putting you in a box where you have no no input comes to you and you don't give out. Definitely the meaning is that the system will die. Banking come into play because um, the main objective is taking from the surplus economy and giving to the de deficit economy. So what that entails is that if you look at there is no balance in economy in the sense that there are rich, the rich and the poor. And for the poor to survive, they're dependent on the, the resources of the rich. And also for the rich to also survive, they also depend on the activities of the poor. So what bank does is to find a way of connecting these two people, thereby collecting the investment that is being deposited in the bank by the rich and avail it to the poor, so that poor will also do what? Invest and thereby one day, you know, move or metamorphosis from that particular sector of being poor to also being rich. A lot of people want to hear first of all, oh, do this and you're going to get this. Sometimes there are no guarantees, but first of all, do you look more than passion for the industry? Look for somebody who is building something, become a part of it, contribute. So many people left, so many people started off you know, as interns and went on to become community managers for big companies. I know somebody who I mentored, he went on to become a community manager where he was any more than me. I mean, so you can actually start with startups, you know, join big tech companies, join financial sector companies, you know, join blockchain legal firms. Some of us are in law here. If you are studying law, look for a way to align yourself with a blockchain legal firm. I, ass I assure you, if you are a lawyer here, you can milk the market without trading. How? You basically represent blockchain companies internally and externally i know somebody who did not know anything about blockchain but was writing blockchain proposals on upwork and was milking the market she's currently out of the country she left she was getting paid just to create no you know things about law is it's templates if you have a template on somebody that stole pepper there is a history you can go and pick a case and refer to that case be professional be very professional because you know the person who is the ceo 
doesn't mean you should you know look down on that office i'm not going to emphasize i think it's very very um you know, clear be professional be hungry be humble be smart and have integrity i borrowed from more than 70 loan apps and i was in debt of i was in debt of almost three million naira guess what i was not caught yes i was not caught I, I'm already looking at the face of my mother. I just couldn't face my mother. So, so I borrowed from. It's not like I intentionally planned to borrow. There's this feeling that, okay, you've borrowed and you want to repay. You repay. And at a point, those no apps will just kick you off that this guy, this, um, this thing is not good. His credit score, this and that. You now go to meet another loan app. That was how I managed to borrow from more than 60 loan apps with depths of 3 million naira. I said, God, how? How will I do this? How? What? Like, my, my, my own has ended. Get? I never really opened up to anybody except to one of my friends. That there was one guy that is close to me. I always say, I'm a CEO, 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 see what's in this up. So, but after a period of, it's not even up to three weeks, I just, the thing is that I just trusted my skills and also by the grace of God, I managed to, you know, kept doing what I know how to do best and, um, I managed to. <laughs> it's not easy. I managed to pay all of them. But then, what I'm trying to say is that never you in this life borrow in order to repay the, the loans that you were owing or borrow in order for you to start up something. How do you feel? Excitement is an understatement. Yeah, I'm not sure you know. yeah. <laughs> I thought you should be screaming. <gasps> I've screamed enough. <laughs> okay, so how much or what is this going to do to your business and your skill? It's going to help me do so many other things that I wasn't able to do because of the equipment I needed. So with this equipment, I'll be able to do so many hairstyles, so many things, and also improve in my work. I want a mannequin and a machine. Jesus, I'm so happy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I think I'll go far much more for i would display more of my works thank you exercise